guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Penny. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the completely redesigned 2022 Lexus NX350, courtesy of Bobby Ray Hall Lexus in Mechanicsburg, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so, obviously, we are in this one today because it has been completely redesigned for the 2022 model year. Not only that, Consumer Reports does give the NX, at least in the past, a well above average reliability rating which is the very highest reliability rating that consumer reports actually gives out so that's wonderful as well but ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering curl ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there will be a couple different configurations for the new nx there is the nx 350 all-wheel drive starting at forty two thousand six hundred and twenty five dollars then you have the f sport handling all-wheel drive starting at forty seven thousand seven hundred and twenty five dollars but regardless of which configuration that you go with the power plant is going to be the same powering the nx is a 2.4 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 275 horsepower 317 pound feet of torque power sent to all four wheels wheels all-wheel drive does come standard after all through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters which as always we will be testing out here in a little bit zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 6.6 .6 seconds top speed 124 miles per hour in case you're interested but actually the f sport bumps that up just slightly to 127 miles per hour mpg numbers coming in at 22 in the city 29 on the highway but 22 in the city 28 then on the highway for the F Sport taking premium unleaded fuel. But said that before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration tests here in the NX 350, I wanted to mention you guys the drive modes. And traditionally in the past, Lexus has put the drive mode stock up kind of above the gauges, but now it is located directly in front of the shifter. Kind of a similar setup though. You turn it to the left for eco, turn it to the right for sport, and then press in for normal. And those drive modes will adjust things like the shift points, the throttle response, and the all wheel drive system engagement then as well but now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find it straight away let's put the paddle shifters here to the test first and by the way there is a full manual shift mode what you want to do there is slide the shifter directly all the way to the back it's actually going to tell you what gear you're in up on the uh, digital portion of the gauges then as well so let's go ahead now and give the paddle shifters here a shot and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here all right first gear and paddle shifter test here we go ah. Ever so slight delay, but actually the paddle shifters aren't bad. I really expected much worse because we're in an SUV. Typically SUVs are not going to give you decent paddle shifters, but these are decent. I mean, they're not like Maserati good or anything like that, but they're actually quite decent. So I didn't mind them. And paddle shifters are also good in SUVs for times when maybe it snows out here in Pennsylvania. You got to do some engine braking going down a hill rather than actually hitting the brakes and risk sliding off the road. You can actually just simply use the paddle shifters and then that is going to do a little bit of engine braking so you're less likely to slide off the road. So that is another good reason why you got to have paddle shifters. But anyways, now having got that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's get back full control to the NX. I'm going to slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the left and Let's put the acceleration here to the test with the NX having full control and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. All right, this is from a standstill in three, two, one, go. Dang. No freaking way. It's quick. It's kind of really, really quick for an SUV. Quite honestly, you don't need the kind of power that is in the NX350, but it's there, which is pretty cool because it's definitely going to help you merge onto the highway and all that fun stuff. But yeah, it's certainly quite quick here, and I was actually pretty darn impressed. So definitely not going to have any issues with that. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So as expected, you will find power-assisted four-wheel disc brakes. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, that is going to come in at 124 feet. As far as the braking feel goes, let's go ahead and hit the brakes. It's actually really good. I don't mind it. It's nothing crazy, but it's certainly right on point for what the NX is, without a doubt. The touching on suspension and handling up front, you're going to get an independent McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, independent double wishbone type rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars, gas pressurized shock absorbers, unless 
you go with the F Sport. F Sport is actually going to add to that solenoid actuated shock absorbers and performance dampers then as well, which is pretty cool. But anyways, it, overall, as far as ride quality goes, it's been perfectly fine. Definitely having no issues soaking up Pennsylvania's road imperfection. So that's perfectly fine. As far as steering feel goes, I would say it's right on point. It tends to lean a little bit more on the heavier side of things, but it is nothing too crazy. It's probably exactly what an SUV should be. As far as cabin noise goes, definitely a very quiet cabin without a doubt i've had no issues with uh exterior wind noise coming into the cabin so that is certainly on point as well and then touching on visibility i can actually see perfectly fine out the back so typically with smaller suvs like this you're not going to have any issues with visibility and that's certainly the case here with the nx as well and also though rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard assisting with visibility what that is is essentially whenever the nx detects any kind of mist or rainfall it's going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you kind of like automatic headlights just one less thing you got to worry about there as well but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 lexus nx350 all right you guys and so now here she is the new 2022 lexus nx350 completely redesigned for the 2022 model year but let's go ahead and start up front on this one of course you have that revised front grille the f sport actually adds a darker front grille with more black accents including around the front air curtains to the sides there as well and also an added gloss front lip as well for a little more aggressive styling i guess you could say to the sides by led headlights with led daytime running lights do come standard they come with the automatic feature but not only that automatic high beams also come standard meaning if you have your high beams on and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim that back to low beams then when that vehicle is gone it's going to bump it back up to high beams for you though so that's always convenient led fog lights also coming standard and did want to mention there is an optional triple beam led headlight option that goes for eight $150 for a little better added visibility at night there. That pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. And so starting up top, roof rails do come standard. However, if you were to go with the F Sport, that is going to add gloss black roof rails. Chrome window surrounds do also come standard. Rear privacy glass, of course, as well. Also gloss black slash body colored side mirror combination. They will be power adjustable, heated with LED integrated turret signals. But not only that, you actually get the auto tilt down in reverse feature which you don't always get even in luxury vehicles and they're also auto dimming as well so if somebody's got their high beams on behind you it's going to automatically dim them just like the rear view mirror so that's pretty cool f sport badging of course coming with the f sport trim level and then take a look down at the wheel setup 18 inch 15 spoke alloys coming standard with the nx350 however if you were to go with the f sport you will find 20 inch five spoke alloys with a gloss black finish but definitely a very nice look to the side let's now go ahead and make our way to the back and so to start up top there rear spoiler with an integrated brake light of course just below that rear window wiper lexus lettering spelled out horizontally i'm not used to seeing that traditionally in the past it has been simply a lexus logo and i actually do kind of like the lexus lettering spelled out i think that looks pretty good led tail lights of course do come standard and just below it all you will find dual exhaust outlets but tucked away so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip. So but now since we are around to the back of the NX, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a power tailgate with the kick sensor if you go with either the luxury package or the premium package. And by the way, the premium package goes for $3,050. It's gonna be the less expensive of those two packages. However, there is a standalone option for a power tailgate that doesn't give you the kick sensor, but there is a power tailgate that goes for $400 then. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 22.7 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 46.9 cubic feet. And there actually is 
power folding second row and that is a $1,030 option if you wanted to go that route but in that cargo area you will of course find cargo lighting there are some grocery bag hooks back there there is a cargo cover but the thing that really impressed me you do have in-floor storage which is kind of common with SUVs but there's two sections for that in-floor storage which I personally liked you have a section in the front kind of a section close to the seats then as well so that was pretty cool but anyway so let's go ahead and make our way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at an even 36 inches so for reference I'm an even six feet tall this is how much space I had in that second row rear ventilation does come standard rear center armrest with cup holders as well there are dual phone charging ports below that rear ventilation if you needed them and heated rear seats again part of that $1,030 package that gives you the power folding second row there that also gives you the heated rear seats as well so it's always nice to spoil the rear passengers a little bit then make our way up to the front seats eight-way power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar coming standard with eight-way power adjustable passenger seat as well you don't always get that 10-way power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar if you go with the f sport trim level that also gives you the power adjustable passenger seat as well new luxe seating is going to come standard however the f sport is going to add to that perforated leather with enhanced bolstering and the perforated leather is available for the NX350 non-F Sport trim, but it's not going to give you that enhanced bolstering that only the F Sport trim does. Heated front seats do come standard, but heated and ventilated front seats are available with either of those package options I've been mentioning. And overall seats are plenty comfortable. The F Sport seats are on an entirely different level. I still say to this day, F Sport seats are the most comfortable seats out there in existence. But Anyways, then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping, of course. It is leather wrapped. It is power adjustable with the premium package and then heated if you wanted to spend an additional $250 there. But then making our way to the startup, let me start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Lexus logo on the one side. When you flip it over, you got all of your other buttons, but ultimately it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button. So once started up, of course, you will find a very nice looking digital gauge cluster. It gives you a ton of information, outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. You even get G-Force statistics actually within the digital gauge cluster as well, which I thought was pretty cool. And another really cool thing about these gauges is the, uh, the colors of the gauges change depending upon which drive mode that you put it in so if you put it in sport you get a lot of those white and red hues and then if you put it in eco you get blue and so on so i like how the gauges adjust as well so that was pretty cool 10 inch head-up display then goes for 1100 dollars, projecting your speed speed limit and safety features onto your windshield then as well but so now making our way to overall interior quality there is an optional power moonroof for 1100 dollars there's an optional panorama glass roof for 500 dollars Overhead sunglass holder does come standard. Auto dimming rear view mirror with home light controls also available. Dual zone climate control coming standard. Aluminum foot pedals for the F Sport. Black headliner for the F Sport. You got stipled black interior trim coming standard. I love that. That's the little accents that you find on the doors and that looks dang good. Wireless phone charger goes for $450. And by the way, it's kind of a package option. You get the wireless phone charger, but you also get a digital key and key card as well. This is something I have personally on my own vehicle and I definitely recommend it because when your key fob dies rather than having to call a tow truck you got the backup key card in your wallet you also have the digital key which is on your phone through an app so backup options in case your key fob dies I think every vehicle should have that these days ambient lighting is actually optional I it's very rare that you see Lexus and Toyota with any kind of ambient lighting so I love that it's available here for the NX that's pretty cool the last thing I want to mention is to open the doors there's not actually a door handle there's kind of a door button to actually go ahead and open the doors from the inside which I thought was kind of unique you don't see that too often so that was pretty cool too but now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech or the infotainment screen here 9.8 inch color touchscreen display does come standard 14 inch color touchscreen display comes with the luxury package it goes for seven thousand four hundred and fifty dollars that's a massive screen and that's what you're looking at right now bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard android auto apple carplay as well factory navigation system coming standard with the larger screen option you can check out your climate control information up there along with your heated seat buttons as well and of course your radio information. So when it comes to the sound systems, 10 speakers are going to come standard, which actually is a decent amount for a standard sound system, I guess you could say. 
but there is an optional 17 speaker Mark Levinson sound system with 1800 watts. We don't have that option today. We actually have the 10 speaker sound system. So let's give it a shot and let's test out the clarity of this one. That was incredible. Probably the best 10 speaker sound system I have heard period. And that wasn't even the Mark Levinson. Obviously the Mark Levinson is going to be absolutely amazing, but that was insane. Seriously, you guys. Literally had to go just double check to make sure that was the 10 speaker sound system and not the Mark Levinson. Seriously, you guys, that was an amazing sound system. You were not going to be disappointed with that 10 speaker sound system. And so the last thing I'm going to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the NX350 in reverse, you of course will find a rear view camera but there is a panoramic view monitor that is optional for $1,070 that gives you that bird's eye view, letting you know what is completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so IHS has not ranked the NX, the 2022 model year quite yet, but it can say for the 2021 model year, it was an IIHS top safety pick plus, which more than likely is what it's going to get. Usually cars only get better over time. So it's probably what it's gonna get for the 2022 model year if I were to guess. Front side side current airbags do come standard, driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard dynamic radar cruise control with curve speed management. That curve speed management, I don't think I've actually ever seen that. And that makes sense. So. That is pretty cool. Well done, Lexus, for coming up with that. Pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing assist, road sign assist, intelligent high beams, as I said earlier, and a blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. And so, Overall, when it comes to my final thoughts of this new NX350 massive infotainment screen available, which I was a huge fan of, I actually like the buttons to open up the doors from the inside as well. It's different, it's unique, and I always love different. I've said that a million times before. Historically great reliability, so you got all this new stuff, but you also have the assurance and the peace of mind that Consumer Reports constantly gives the NX a well above average reliability score like every single year. You got plenty of power, believe it or not, for the NX350 as well. Really the only room for improvement I can think of, and it's not really even a big deal, is it doesn't handle quite as well as some of the other vehicles, and it's a, just a smidge bit noisier than some of the other luxury vehicles in its class but quite honestly this thing would be perfectly fine for me i've had no issues the whole drive here today and so but that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold <music>